of alphabet magnets while decorated for Christmas. So I'm putting them all in order. Can you sing the alphabet song with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I've got to put up the rest of the letters. What comes after I? H, I, J. That's it. Now we have to find the letter J. Is this the letter J? <laughs> no, this isn't a J. Is this the letter J? No, this isn't a J. Is this the letter J? Yes, it is. This is the letter J. It starts up here and it swoops down. J is for jumping jacks. J is for jelly. Yum. The letter J is so great, I'm putting it right here after the letter I. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Working on the alphabet, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We got all the way to the letter J. Learning your letters is great. It's true. And I have an amazing J word for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey there. Merry Christmas. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at all of these Christmas cards. This one says, Merry Christmas. Christmas starts with the letter C. And this one says, joy. That starts with the letter J. That reminds me of our story today. It's about a very special baby whose name starts with the letter J. I can't wait to tell you about it. I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's part of the true story of Christmas begins with Mary and Joseph. They lived in the town of Nazareth, but they needed to go all the way to the city of Bethlehem to be counted. Do you see Bethlehem all the way back there? That's where Joseph was from, and that's where they needed to go. But Mary was going to have a baby. That means she couldn't walk all that way. She needed a ride. What do you think Mary rode to Bethlehem? Do you think she took the bus? No. Did she ride on the train? No, she didn't ride the train. She didn't ride a bus or a train. She probably rode on an animal, like a donkey. What does a donkey say? Hee-haw, hee-haw. Okay, on to Bethlehem. Once Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. So they looked around the town for somewhere to rest. They knocked on door A. But there wasn't any room there. They knocked on door B. But there wasn't any room there either. Oh no, where are Mary and Joseph going to stay? They knocked on door C. Oh, wow! The innkeeper didn't have any room inside, 
but he told Joseph and Mary that they could stay in his stable. Now, a stable is a place where people keep their animals. And it was in that stable, with all of the animals, that something amazing happened. A very special baby was born, and Mary named him Jesus. J is for Jesus. Everyone say, J is for Jesus. J is for Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. And it's all true. God gave us Jesus for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus was born in a stable. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I know what else Jay is for. Jay is for Jesus. Bye, see you next time.